in this short video we'll talk about ionophores so what are ionophores ionophores are chemical compounds that facilitate the transport of ions across the biological membranes particularly across lipid bilayers of cells so generally ions cannot travel across the membrane until and unless there is a carrier or there is a ion channel these ionophores can act both like a carrier or an ion channel so there are carrier ionophores which can bind to these ions and can diffuse through the plasma membrane and release them in the cytosolic side there are also uh, examples like valinomycin which is a transport protein for um, potassium ions there is also channel forming ionophores which are compounds that act like ion channels and allow ion to pass through and they provide a hydrophilic core and prevent the ion to be exposed with that hydrophobic environment in the membrane this is how it allows it to pass that ion through the membrane one example is gramicidine so it forms a channel that is good for monovalent cations like sodium or potassium to pass through so these uh, kind of ionophores doesn't have too much specificity unlike an ion channel a ion channel can also pass ion but they have high specificity it won't pass a sodium versus a potassium ion through the same channel but in case of ionophores it might pass non specifically all the cations now imagine a scenario that basically this particular ion channel is uh, uh, atp is and it hydrolyzes atp to transport these uh, ions shown in pink on the extracellular side and thereby a uh, ionic gradient is created so we can see this gradient more ions on the outer side than the inner side now in this same context imagine there is an ionophore so obviously this gradient this electrochemical gradient which was built up would be totally dissipated because now these uh, ionophore can take the ions from outside and plunge it into the inside now the gradient would be dissipated and the proton motive force that are basically present in the gradient cannot be used for other biological purposes so it lead to disruption of many cellular processes it if it happens in context of let's say electron transport chain atp production is hampered sometimes cell signaling can be hampered because sometimes cell signaling requires increase of calcium or other second messengers in particular region so these kind of ionophore can disrupt that aspect ionophores can also be uh, used as an antibiotic for example valinomycin monensin they have antibiotic properties due to their ability to disrupt gradients in the bacteria so they compromise the bacterial biology by altering the biochemical gradients and they particularly act more on the gram positive bacteria now we talk about uh, ionophores as a research tool sometime one need to uh, basically create a artificial situation or create perturbation in the laboratory in that case people might use ionophore for example a23187 is a calcium ionophore used to increase intracellular calcium in the cell and it's basically a calcium carrier ionophore which carries calcium from outside to inside of the cell sometimes people also use ionophores to create endoplasmic reticulum stress sometimes they use ionophore to artificially activate neurons so all of these things are possible by doing using ionophore but ionophore is an artificial en entity cell doesn't encode it uh, so it can be used in clinical also in research uh, perspective so i hope this video was short enough and useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up please support our channel using super thanks see you in next video